In the opening scene, we are introduced to a janitor named Poe, who is transporting a dead body into the morgue. The body belongs to a popular and beautiful Spanish actress named Anna Fritz, who died in her bathroom under mysterious circumstances. Ah, another victim of toilet gremlins. Poe carefully arranges her lifeless figure alongside other corpses, and then unveils her face to capture a photograph. Surprisingly, he sends the picture to one of his friends named Ivan. Not long after, Ivan, accompanied by his friend Javi, makes their way to the same hospital. As the three start chatting, Ivan abruptly asks if Poe has taken a glimpse of Anna's unclothed body. The janitor says, obviously, and reveals that her body will remain in the morgue until the following day. Hearing this, Ivan becomes desperate to witness it himself, so he manages to convince Poe to grant them entry. However, Javi thinks it is inappropriate and dangerous. He attempts to convince Ivan to leave, but the latter has made up his mind already. He even forces Javi to come along with them. In the next scene, the three take the elevator to the basement, and as they walk through the hallway, Poe tells them to pretend that they are lost, if someone happens to see them. When they finally reach the morgue, he pranks his companions by swiftly pulling back a sheet, revealing the dead body of an elderly lady. <laughs> Get pranked, nerds. The friends are startled by what they see, but Poe tells them to relax as this is not Anna. He then directs them to the beautiful woman's corpse and finally unveils her face. However, to his surprise, Ivan pulls the sheet further down and fondles her chest, saying that she doesn't even look dead. He then implores Javi to do the same, which he hesitantly does. There is a special place in hell for these weirdos. Following this, the guys take a dose of narcotics and get high. Ivan, who has become infatuated with Anna, uncovers her complete body and wonders if it is possible to violate a corpse. In response, Poe says that saliva must be used for lubrication. God, oh. When asked if he knows this from previous experience, Poe admits to having violated the corpse of a 19-year-old girl. Okay, sweet. This further excites Ivan, and he decides to proceed with the heinous act. Paul also agrees with him, but Javi appears to be disgusted. He wants to go home ASAP, but Paul urges him to stay in the other room until they are done. After this, Ivan sleeps with the corpse and fulfills his desire. The next one to go is Paul, and he seems pretty excited about it. However, when he is on top of her, she suddenly regains consciousness. Anna has somehow come back from the dead, but she appears to be paralyzed and gripped with fear. When Poe finally realizes what's going on, he screams in horror, prompting his companions to hastily enter the room. The first one to respond is Javi. He takes the initiative and approaches Anna, urging her to remain calm. He also provides her with a glass of water and a piece of cloth. Sensing the gravity of the situation, Javi turns to Poe and inquires about what they should do next. However, both Poe and Ivan are horrified, as they know that what they did earlier can land them in trouble. As the three are arguing, they are startled by someone's footsteps coming towards the morgue. Hence, they hurriedly turn off the lights, cover Anna's body, and hide themselves behind the other slab. Soon after, another janitor rolls in a lifeless body. Anna tries her best to summon her voice and plead with the janitor for assistance. However, she can only manage weak and barely audible sounds due to her weakened condition. After the janitor leaves, Javi rushes back to Anna's side and tries to calm her down. The men are then faced with two choices. They can either report Anna's revival and face violation charges, or they can murder her and cover up their crimes. Ivan asserts that since the world believes Anna is dead, killing her and hiding their crimes would be the better option. However, Javi thinks otherwise. He wants to save her at any cost, even if it means risking their own lives. He then drags Anna's slab towards the door to get her out, only to discover that the door is locked. To make matters worse, Poe has left the keys at its side. As the tension in the room rises, Javi begins screaming for help. But Ivan once again intervenes and yanks him away. The two then get into a vicious altercation, which ends with Ivan hitting his friend hard in the head. Shortly after, Ivan realizes what he has done and tries to apologize to Javi. Unfortunately, it is too late, as the latter is already experiencing severe blood loss. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Ivan decides to leave Javi in an isolated room in the hospital, where he can be easily discovered. Moments later, the third janitor enters the room, prompting Poe to step outside and engage with him. Meanwhile, Ivan places his hand over Anna's mouth to suppress any sounds she might make. He stares at her, menacingly, almost as if he has no remorse whatsoever. Outside, Poe pretends that they were inadvertently locked in after they forgot the keys. The janitor believes his story and requests to see Anna's deceased body, but Poe skillfully manages to lead him away. Inside the morgue, Ivan is distraught that he has assaulted his own friend. He attempts to keep Javi awake by putting pressure on his wound, but all his efforts are futile. Soon, 
the innocent man passes away, leaving both his friends in a state of shock and guilt. Realizing the gravity of their actions, Poe breaks down in tears, fearing a lifetime spent behind bars. However, Ivan's demeanor suddenly changes and he gets another idea. He wants to dispose of Javi's body as well, so that the authorities don't suspect anything. Meanwhile, Anna overhears their conversation and becomes scared. In a soft voice, she pleads for her release, promising to keep her mouth shut. Poe considers accepting her proposal, but Ivan intervenes and pulls him out of the room. He then urges Poe to remain focused on their plan, asserting that their next steps will determine the course of their lives. Ivan also mentions the fact that they will be held responsible equally if they are caught. He is sure that Anna will tell everything to the authorities if they let her live. As the two continue talking, Anna manages to maneuver herself off the slab. She then searches through Javi's pocket and locates his phone. At the same time, Ivan catches her in the act and hastily grabs the phone from her. Anna informs him that she called her father and informed him that she regained consciousness. Ivan checks the phone and upon discovering a dialed number, becomes convinced that they are in trouble. They nervously escort Anna upstairs, but on their way, an unknown number calls Javi's phone. Ivan answers the call while Poe ensures Anna remains silent. To their relief, Ivan learns that the call was never fully connected. She only managed to ring her dad for a few seconds. After returning to the morgue, an irate Ivan slaps Anna for her attempted cleverness. In response, she accuses him of violating dead bodies and even calls him a freak. Unfortunately, this turns out to be a bad decision as Ivan becomes convinced that she will report him to the authorities if left alive. So, he goes outside to find some equipment with the help of which he can dissect her body. After he leaves, Anna tries to convince Poe to let her free, promising that she will not report him to the authorities. She also warns him that Ivan is a cold-hearted murderer who will not hesitate to kill his own friends. The statement leaves Poe thinking for a while, but then he disregards her and binds her up. Left with no other options, Anna fabricates a story, claiming that Ivan strangled Javi in her presence while Poe was absent from the morgue room. She asserts that he never intended to take his friend to the hospital. Unfortunately, Poe once again ignores her and places tape over her mouth. Outside, Ivan becomes trapped behind the containers as some nurses gather there to smoke. While Poe engages himself with cleaning the adjacent room, Anna carefully removes the tape and frees her legs from the restraints. She lowers herself to the floor and crawls out of the morgue room, managing to conceal herself just in time before Ivan returns. Shortly after, the men eventually catch wind of the escape and begin panicking. They then rush in different directions in search of her. Anna evades capture for a while, but as she steps into the elevator, Ivan catches her and pulls her back into the morgue. He then decides to suffocate her with bunched up sheets, ensuring no visible marks are left on her body. Poe is a bit skeptical about the idea as at this point, he has started feeling sorry for the girl. But nonetheless, when his evil friend insists, he too gets in on the act. Ivan and Poe then suffocate poor Anna until she stops moving and seemingly dies. Afterward, they lift her back onto the slab and proceed to place Javi's body into the container. In the next scene, Poe cleans and drapes Anna's body with a white sheet to make sure all her recent wounds are covered. He then aligns her with the other corpses, making it look like no one has even touched her. Following this, as Poe gathers his belongings and waits for Ivan, he suddenly hears Anna coughing. It appears as if she has come back to life once again, but in response, Poe calmly approaches her and instructs her to feign death. This reveals that the murder was staged. Poe simply pretended to strangle her. He never applied any pressure. Just then, Ivan arrives at the scene, prompting Poe to quickly cover Anna. He then approaches her, takes a final glance, and departs from the room. However, just as they are about to enter the elevator, Ivan checks his wallet and realizes that he left his card in the morgue. Poe tries to persuade him to leave it behind, assuring him that he'll retrieve it the following day, but Ivan insists on getting his card. Unfortunately, as he enters the room, he sees Anna alive and well, trying to put on a hospital gown. This infuriates Ivan as he realizes that he has been backstabbed. He aggressively grabs Poe by the throat, accusing him of plotting to shift all the blame onto him. He also mentions that at this point, he doesn't even care if they go to jail. Suddenly, Anna sneaks up on him from behind and stabs Ivan twice in the neck, causing him to bleed out and die. Witnessing this horrific act, Poe breaks down in tears and questions why she would commit such an act. When Ivan had already expressed his intention to leave, Anna doesn't say a word. She simply gazes at him for a while. Then, she repeatedly stabs Poe in his abdomen, killing him on the spot. The movie ends as Anna is seen staring into the distance, tears streaming down her face and blood splattered everywhere. She has gotten her revenge. Uh, and good for Anna, you know? This is a happy ending if you, if you really think about it. <laughs>
Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.